This video will cover general maintenance on a walk-behind lawnmower. This is a self-propelled front-wheel drive mower. Depending on your model, the instructions in this video may vary slightly. If there are any safety features missing or broken, immediately take your mower to an authorized service center or call to schedule a pickup. Make sure you have the proper tools for this project. Before starting this project, grab a notepad and pencil. As you go along, you may find items that need to be replaced. You'll want to list them. And of course, as you work, always observe the safety rules called out in your operator's manual. To begin, place the mower on a flat, level surface. Disconnect the spark plug wire to avoid accidental starting. The spark plug should be replaced every 100 hours or prior to storing in the fall. Damaged or worn plugs can decrease your engine's fuel efficiency and power output. Pay close attention to the numbers on the old plug. Make sure you use those numbers to cross-reference to a replacement plug. Using a spark plug with the wrong specifications can be fatal to your engine. Your engine's oil should be changed every 50 hours or prior to storing in the fall. Over time, heat and friction break down the oil's ability to lubricate moving parts. Worn engine particles also accumulate in the oil and can cause premature engine wear. Some mowers have a drain plug for easy access. For mowers without a drain plug, using the Arnold siphon pump is an easy option as is tilting the mower and draining the oil through the dipstick tube. When tilting your mower, always tilt the mower so the air filter is facing up. Refer to your operator's manual or engine manual for the type and amount of oil needed to refill. Do not overfill. It can be as harmful as underfilling. Next, check the air filter. When dirt accumulates in an air filter, the engine begins to choke, losing power and burning more fuel. So check it periodically, every month or so. If it's really dirty, or if a lot of grass is between the pleats, dispose of it and add a new air filter to your parts list. Under no circumstances should you operate your mower without a proper fitting filter. Dirt or grass can be sucked into the engine, causing damage. If your mower is equipped with a pre-filter, you can clean it with liquid detergent and water. Be sure to dry it thoroughly. Mowing with a dull or worn blade is harmful to your lawn. A dull blade tears at the grass instead of cutting it, making the plant susceptible to disease and causing the tips to turn brown. If the blade is excessively chipped, bent, or damaged, replace it. Running a mower with a bent blade can cause excess vibration and unsafe mowing conditions. If you simply need to sharpen your blade, you can use the Arnold Balancer Sharpener Kit. If your mower is self-propelled, check the self-propelled drive belt for wear or damage. If it's worn or damaged, replace it. Remember to only use genuine factory belts. They are designed specifically for your mower's pulley system and torque needs. Non-original belts look similar, but may not sit in the pulley properly, or they may stretch, causing premature wear and the need for replacement. Refer to your operator's manual for the correct part number. At this time, it's also a good opportunity to clean any debris buildup. Use a wooden stir stick if necessary. Check your grass bag for wear or damage. If there are holes or tears, operating the product could be dangerous. Check the trail shield at the back of the mower for wear or damage. If this or any other safety feature is not functioning properly, immediately take your mower to an authorized service center. Check your mulching plug and discharge chute and clear away grass or debris. Check your drive wheels for excessive wear or damage. On this model, the drive wheels are in the front. Inspect all cables, including the drive, operator presence bar, and speed control. Look for fraying at the ends or kinks and possible cracks where the handlebars fold down for storage. Any needed service should be performed by an authorized service center. At this point, you have given your mower a thorough check. It's time to purchase any replacement or maintenance parts you may need. Once all of the parts have been replaced, 
Check to make sure all fasteners are tight. Wipe up any fuel or oil spilled during the repair. Reconnect the spark plug wire. To prevent hard starts, add a fuel stabilizer to your gas can. It will help the fuel stay fresh over time and burn properly. The last thing to do is fill the tank with fresh fuel. Now you're good to go.